Hi. I'm doing an unboxing today. This is the box I am going to unbox. It's pretty heavy. Um, I ordered quite a few things last month. Second hand from Japan. Mm, my main focus is to try to buy stuff for summer weather. And I've had lately not super great luck buying second hand, so hopefully everything, or mostly everything, in this box will be better. The first thing I bought were these socks. They're by Shirley Temple and they have mushrooms and strawberries, which I think quite a few of the prints I don't have. So, and I'm also just trying to branch out more into other brands. So here's what the socks look like. Oh, and they have a bunny on the other side. That's pretty and they're like a cream color. Okay, I also basically I've, I've wanted the, this uh, series of items for a super long time since I first heard about them over 10 years ago. I don't know if that's right. Maybe like 2012 that I heard about them. Anyway, they're the, I think, Trick Night series. It was like a collaboration with The Nightmare Before Christmas. And this seller just listed a whole bunch of these. Um, and I bought everything I could except for one pair of socks was bought in before I could get, or before my shopping service answered my email, so. But yeah, so I got these ones in the dark pink. And then these little wrist things. They have glittery stars and AP all glittery. And then another item in the series were these like arm warmer things. Oops. So this was the colorway in the pair of socks that I missed out on was this one, which is like the light pink. And then these are the wrist warmer or the arm warmers in like a purple and these things all have their uh, metal clips on them still so I guess they were never worn except for these ones they don't have the clip and these are in the dark pink again the receivable packaging on there, not the actual bag. Just got this. It's 
because it was cheap and I love this print, so it's an innocent girl. Doth Lada, I think. One of the Lada prints, I don't know. <laughs> it's really sturdy, actually. I think the fabric is really thick. And it's, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it is glittery. That's just kind of a nice thing to have. Okay. And I got these socks. The gold lace-up socks by Angelic Pretty. Um, I don't know if these were ever worn or not. Maybe. But I thought they'll go nice with my uh, Fantastic Carnival because it has gold details on the front, gold buttons. I ordered a lot of stuff. This is like such a big. Uh, Order. Next up is this Baby Lister Shambrite headball in mint. to get a few more mint things because it's kind of becoming more frequent in my wardrobe. Actually when I was making this coordinate that I'm wearing now, I realized like all of my mint stuff is kind of like on the top. I don't really have stuff to even out on the bottom. I don't know if I just need to get more mint socks. I don't really want to get mint shoes for some reason. It doesn't appeal to me. Maybe I will anyway. I don't know. Hmm. And then this is also by Baby. It's a head bow, headband again. And they're just like, they go on the side, so I thought that was kind of nice. I prefer smaller head bows because my head is kind of small. Okay, and then next I got these socks from Baby. It was hard to tell what colorway they were in the photo. I was kind of hoping they'd be white, but pink is fine too. She's got strawberries. <clears throat> so hopefully they'll match my um, sweet sheep jumper skirt. One of the items I got for summer weather. So it's a camisole. Which I think will look super cute. I think it's Wizard of Oz on the front. Or I don't think it is, I know it is. <laughs> it's got poppies. Yeah, so that will be cute and good for summer. I decided to be proactive and buy summer stuff before summer starts. This box is just really <laughs> like jam-packed full of stuff. Okay. So um, some of these items are <laughs> these skirts that I, I basically paid way too much money for. I don't 
think they were worth like how much I paid. But I was look I've been looking at them for over a year. And so I was just like fine, just get them. Just like get it over with. Cause I think they're a bit older items. So like the likelihood of seeing them come up is not super high. Hopefully they're in good condition though. This is the first one. This is an angelic pretty skirt. I did actually see this one go up on Wonderwell, but it was totally not the colorway I wanted, unfortunately. But the price on Wonderwell was just so much more reasonable than what I paid for this, but oh well, I guess. This is it's really pretty though. One thing, I just felt like skirts are better for summer. Because, you know, you can have less layers, just a skirt and a cutsaw or something. And I'm just wanting skirts more lately, too, so. That's one of them. This is um, a package I actually ordered from Wonderwelt. But they're not shipping to my country right now. So I didn't send it to my shopping service. world head bow that I've wanted for a while. It's just um, like a pink and cream. Simple. Nice. And I finally got a lavender blouse, but this is not good for uh, summer, so this is long sleeves. It's by Milk. fabric is interesting. It's like, would you say it's ribbed? I don't know. I'm not a fabric expert at all. Yeah, this is cute. I have another blouse from Milk that I really like, so I'm glad to get this one. Okay, these are some actual summer things. More tops. Because I was looking in my wardrobe and I have a lot of long sleeve tops, but not so many short sleeve tops. So these are from Emily Temple Q. This one is like a, I don't know, it's like a sleeveless blouse. It's actually really nice. I like this a lot. It has like, oh my gosh, someone just told me what this this type of fabric is called. It might be like called Swiss dot or something. But anyway, so it's got green and pink dots, and then shirring and on the waist, and these nice buttons down the front, and like. These sleeves are kind of a little poofy. I think this is going to be really cute and nice for summer. And I got another Emily Temple Cute gloves. This one's fully sheared. Nice blue. It's stripy. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I'm really happy with both of those. This next item is a skirt from Pudumayo or Pudumayo. It's got Alice. It has some words and then she began to fall. <laughs> 
I'm just flip it. Cheshire cat. And it has like this chiffon overlay. I think this is the first thing from Puda Mayo I've ever had. I've bought things for my sister in the past. But never anything for myself, so that's cool. I really like their style, actually, even though it's like not something I really have in my own wardrobe. Maybe I can diversify. <laughs> After all this time talking about how I wanted a more cohesive wardrobe, it's like now I'm just... I just buy whatever. I was encouraged by some people to just buy what you like and yes, not try to restrict yourself and just enjoy the things. This is an innocent world skirt. I'm not sure if I really like the color. I wasn't sure in the photos if it was going to be like a lighter color. This is really a beige. There's construction uh, going on in my building. <laughs> so if you can hear that, that's unfortunately what that is. So yeah, that's this skirt. Uh, it looks like it needs repairs with the elastic in the waist it's totally just like stretched out. This is pretty old. The fabric is really nice and soft though. Okay, and um, this is one of the last things. This is the last thing in the box. And it is another skirt. This is from the same seller. Oh, this is so pretty. It's an Angela Pretty skirt. This is like, I think one of those ones where there's no photo of it on the library. But like there's an entry for it. And like you can see some of the other colorways, but there's no photo for this one. So maybe I can take a photo, a nice one, and send it in for them to contribute. Okay, and so that's the last thing in that box, but surprise, I have another box. Uh, <laughs> it's a long boy. Because I got a parasol. Because summer. Uh, this one has some, some damages, so hopefully they're not too bad. We shall see. This is uh, the Baby the Starshine Bright Birdcage umbrella I wanted for quite a long time. So the handle is like pretty messed up, but I, I knew that when I bought it. So hopefully I can like fix that, but I think like the top should be okay. So. Am I going to get bad luck now? I open an umbrella inside. What do you think? Am I doomed? How do I close this? Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, I think, yeah, the rest of it looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's just the handle that's messed up, but I can fix that, so. Yay! And that was, like, my giant haul. Oh, one other thing I guess I can share is I also got a package yesterday that I ordered from like the Chinese secondhand Taobao and I thought I was getting an angelic pretty skirt and I ended up getting like a design replica which like if I would looked a little closer I probably would have noticed because some of the things were a little bit off. But I, I don't know, I was too trusting, I guess. So I ended up getting this replica. I think it, uh, it's like an angelic pretty cross 
something skirt. And the waistband was like totally stretched out, so I had to like fix that. I did that yesterday. I fixed the waistband. It has no no um, lining or anything, which is just like annoying for how much I paid. I think I paid like fifty dollars or something for it. I feel like this is not worth fifty dollars because like no lining or anything, and just it being damaged. But something funny about it was that the tag, so the brand, it said like it was Masako or something, was what the brand was called. And then like in the corner, it had the word oops on the tag. And I was just like, I'll insert a picture. Um, but I was just like, yeah, this is like totally how I feel buying a design replica on accident when I was really excited to get this uh, skirt. So that was, Kind of disappointing, but I guess now I don't have to worry about like totally trashing this thing. I can wear it and not not worry, I suppose. Um, and yeah, that was my unboxing of like a ton of stuff featuring some construction noises. I don't know, maybe I'll do try-ons, maybe not. I am feeling like pretty tired, so probably not, but maybe. Or maybe just, I'll insert pictures. Probably not. <laughs>